Hi, and welcome to Girl Talk. Woo, we got a group today. Debbie Cordes here from WHHI. We have a new member to our panel today. We who do. is We're in heaven. She's so sweet. <laughs> We're all jacked up on chocolate. <laughs> exactly. Miss Hammy is here to join us. And, and you just bought the chocolate canopy. Yes. Well, one you're year a year old mm -hmm. with it, correct? Today. One year today. That's so. great. Oh, that's Congratulations. wonderful. Mariana's yep. here from J Banks Design. She's got some cool things. Just quick, you all at market? Going yes. to market? Back from market? Going? Yes. Mm -hmm. Last week we went to New York market. and um, What's new? The colors, I think, there's just like kind of a fresh new color palette and a lot of like bright colors with the neutral. Okay. So lots of like almost like sherbet colors and like high gloss lacquers mm -hmm. with like grays and khakis and it's really it's, awesome. It's funny with the green you're wearing. I think we talked about this before, but I know emerald, the rich deep emerald that was green. That's the Pantone color of the, the year. Of the year. Mm -hmm. I love the chocolate colored curtains. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're kind of bugging me right now because we're just sitting over here. Yeah. Well, talk to us about the chocolate canopy. We are very excited that you're here. You've had this for a year. Anyone who hasn't been there must go. Especially right now because we're getting ready for Valentine's yes. Day. So yes. right around um, the corner. Got a lot of new truffles, lots mm -hmm. of new chocolates, the same quality that the old owners always have for the past 29 years, but kind of updated the look, mm -hmm. kind of. Um, really good and mm -hmm. we got some new items new product so and you have a young a young daughter too yep. so eight she's years old eight <laughs> years old does she come in the candy shop all the time too? yep and she has to be what? on a limit that's i was awesome. gonna say is that, and your husband talk candy a little candy bit store. Yeah. yeah these are all homemade talk about what kinds of chocolate you have your favorite mm. okay well we have um, milk chocolate dark chocolate which is the most popular here on the island sugar-free for the diabetics Mm, uh, white chocolate mm. and then all the gourmet truffles that you can enjoy. My favorite right now would be the caramel with sea salt. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yep, I put two in there for you so you oh, can you both did? try. Oh, what's your, okay, what are these? Those are truffles. So, oh, so salt. what? When is it truffle a truffle and when is it chocolate a chocolate? I'm just watching the guys like watch y'all eat their chocolates. They're well, those like. Would be, be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's no, for fluid. display only. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, they're no. For eating. <laughs> yes, they're for eating. What the you, truffles have the ganache center, so the softer interiors. Mm. So this one here tastes like rum, mint. Oh, I would like a mint one. Okay. Oh, that's so good. Here. Tiramisu. Oh, oh my God. They oh, I'm so they look Is it pretty? pretty? You want to try one? I'm going to try one okay. later. <laughs> oh, I have to have one. I right actually now. put some sea salt on. I like my chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, but that it it sounds terrible. Yeah. Growing up, so we used good. to eat Sundays that were. It. Mm, this is all. So good. these, so this like, is the best you have these pre-box, but you can also do them like with like however you, you want them with like, the different. Exactly. So if you mm -hmm. only want it all rum, we could do all rum for you. If you, if want, you want all rum, then yeah. you can get all <laughs> rum. Exactly. <laughs> all works for me. Okay, and so you'll have all of those things there. Yep, and we have them preset for the guys. A lot of times they don't really want to pick out they just know that they want a gift mm -hmm. so we kind of make it easy for them and have it all set we can gift wrap it for them and all that so I have a hard question what if I wanted like a hundred boxes of the same That's thing just what I was gonna Not how long yeah. does that take um seven to ten days maybe I mean okay. we could probably do it in two days if we had to if you had the stuff yeah so star one of the everything. things that I was wondering about is with the events with graduations mm -hmm. coming weddings, weddings all those kinds of things does it make sense can you do customized pieces absolutely we did a whole bunch of that last Actually, more in the fall for some reason. I don't know. It's big wedding season. Yeah, November is the, the new. Yeah. It's so hot mm -hmm. in the summer. No, I think you're exactly right. Yeah. Chocolates on the beach yep. in the summer. <laughs> it's so nice. I mean, you're really the. Is this the only spot on the island? I mean, you're. Well, you guys the make the fudge everything. shop too. Yeah, yeah, okay. but they're more fudge. So. So this is a, a little bit more of a, a wider assortment. Exactly. And it's great. It's local. Mm -hmm. It's so nice it's to been support the forever, local. Yeah. Exactly. The Did name. you actually bite it? And it is delicious. It is absolutely delicious. Did you actually bite it? Yes. How do you not get chocolate on your teeth? I don't know. You didn't. <laughs> She's a professional. Well, no. <laughs> no, a professional is when you can pick at it. Yeah. No one notices it, and, and it's already gone. Right. That's a pro. What yeah. got you started yeah. in this? What got you interested in this? Honestly, my husband and I lived outside Washington, D.C., in Northern Virginia, and we lived there 13 years, and we're looking for a change. Mm. And we found the store online and came down last December mm -hmm. and said, we can do this. And, and then we awesome. got here February 1st. And Star said she worked wow. with animals all of her life, so it was a natural segue yeah. into the <laughs> there go. shop. So. Have you learned a lot about chocolate, about tempering? And exactly. It's not easy. No. A, a big, huge it's learning curve. Um, the first couple months, you know, were the mm -hmm. hardest. And 
we've kind of made it through all the bumps in the road and things have gotten better. So mm -hmm. now did they train you? They did stay it? on for with well, us so for cool. a while. Yeah. They're so nice. Yes. <laughs> they really are. What a happy job. It is. What time do you How could do you not be happy? I know. Do you go in every day? Do you have seasonal things? Uh, we do every day except for Sunday. So mm -hmm. Monday through Saturday, mm -hmm. 1030 to 530. Okay, 1030, 530. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I mean seasonal we don't have, we're open all the time, so we don't have uh -huh. seasonal hours. We do a but lot I mean, of the wedding. But I mean seasonal treats. Chocolates, uh -huh. yep. So we're actually starting to get ready for the summertime with different large piece items. That seems to be more popular in the summertime. What does like, that mean? Big, huge, <laughs> like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, a gator. Style. Yeah, yeah a chocolate gator. Oh, yeah, 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 Gator's yeah, yeah. our most popular item, Is I would really? say. One of the most popular items. So we, you know, sell through those And lots. you ship ship everywhere. Mm -hmm. What um, about packaging? Can you do different kinds of packaging? Yep, this is just uh, one of our, we have about maybe 10, 12 different boxes that we have on at all times. For Christmas, we did a lot of customized boxings that, Ooh, that would be fun. people got like um, the Hilton Head National, like thank you from the Hilton Head National on there. Oh, and then it was a present yeah. from yeah. them through That's us. That's a great idea. idea. Yeah. So we really can ca is. customize the box. So it's a present from you, but also from us as well. Oh, I love that. Well, mm. Star, thank you for joining us today. We oh, wish you could stay so for six segments. <laughs> yeah. Get back. Is coming back next week. for you to keep that candy. No. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're going to talk about Legally Blonde. We are. Sponsored by and filmed on location at J Banks Design, the fresh and innovative retail destination. And by The Greenery, an employee owned company with a growing tradition since 1973. And by Stoneworks for tile, for backsplashes, for granite. And by Custom Audio Video, your technology specialist enhancing your home or business with the latest in audio and video electronics. And by Island Tire and Automotive Services, now under new ownership and winner of the Reader's Choice Awards for Best Oil Change and for Tires. We are back. We are here with Ben Wolf. We are excited to talk chocolate? with you. Yes, chocolate. I know. I, I didn't bring chocolate. I feel like I've come to the party without exactly. anything. Yeah. Well, help yourself to the chocolate, except yeah, you can't delightful. have that one. You cannot have that one. That one or that one or that one or that one. The ones that have D's the, on them are the, for Deb. The ones with the wrapper. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, welcome to yeah, it. Yeah, you can have exactly. <laughs> Stop chocolate under my fingernail. <laughs> I, I was thinking the same exact thing, but it's all about you. Let's bring the focus back. So, how about that Legally Blonde? How about Legally Blonde? Um, <laughs> It's the strangest thing. People hear it who saw the movie. The movie, I guess, was 2002 with Reese Witherspoon. Mm -hmm. And when it was coming to Broadway, I, I laughed, along with lots of yeah. people. Like, what is this going to be? Like, and then I saw it. You laughed? I, I laughed. Mm -hmm. I the the like, movie's a classic. I know, but to make it a musical, like, would you ever on. think that that you was say, going to be really? musical yeah. material? But now they're, they're yes. doing that with just about everything. They're, yeah. they're yeah. turning everything that should or shouldn't be into a musical, but in this case, it, it, it should have been. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, the beauty shop I number, the bend and snap. Bend and snap, yeah. But right? I didn't even know it was a musical until you all started to do it. Right, it ran for almost two years on Broadway. Um, uh -huh. And they actually, and then they aired it on MTV right before it was about to close. So it exposed it to a wide range of people who wouldn't have had the opportunity to see mm -hmm. it. I didn't realize that. Yeah, and, um, and so it's a great show. Is there a lot of dancing? Is there a dancing, singing, <laughs> sorority girls, high energy? Do you they have a dog? Love the chocolate. We have two dogs. No, uh, yes. Because Paulette, the hairstylist, oh, has yes, she has her And then of course you have Bruiser Woods, who is the constant yes. companion. Yes. Do y'all have a real Chihuahua? We do. We actually we rescued a Chihuahua from a Chihuahua rescue. No. Yeah. <laughs> is that the Chihuahua from the summer. It is. It, it, it's, no. a, it's a chihuahua. This is his second production of Legally Blonde. <laughs> no, um, What's his real name? Well, his real name is Bruiser Woods. He, when we got him, his name was Heathcliff, and he did not know that at all. So okay. now he's spent a year, because he's on the show twice. <laughs> his name is Bruiser. He spent a year, and he's Bruiser Woods. So. We have to back no. up for a second. Okay, yeah. so ben is the um, director of performing arts. Director okay. performing. I want to always mess up your title. It's, always. it's fine. <laughs> and I always go and Google Hilton Head Prep because it's like. <laughs> okay, yes, director performing. What is his title again? Yes. yes. It, it's fine. <laughs> He's just a really Hilton, talented guy. At Hilton Head Prep. The, oh, thank okay. you. Okay. And, um, You've been there how long? This is my fourth year. That's right. Okay. Fourth year. And we've got a great group of seniors who I've been there with for four years who started with me as freshmen and they're mm -hmm. all getting their final bow in this show. And so, they all. How have, many seniors do you have this year? 
I think I've got 11 in the Do show. You really? um, That's awesome. And then my stage manager, my uh, scene shop foreman who runs the backstage, he's my Kelly? deck chief. Kelsey's my stage Kelsey. manager. And okay. then Russell Freed, who is my uh, scene shop foreman and deck chief backstage, he's also a senior. So we've got a, a big group here that are trying their best to show off for Look this Look at us. Like, if you haven't <laughs> seen I was gonna say the same a thing. Hilton Head prep production, production. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what. You mm -hmm. have to go. And this Very is plus. Ho a, a hilarious, mm -hmm. it's just hilarious. So much fun. The so lyrics, high so well written. And um, you can't leave fun. unhappy. You yeah. cannot leave Legally Blonde And unhappy. just the yeah. production value itself. I Kudos to you guys for mm -hmm. what you've done in the past. And I'm sure this is gonna, going to just be in of this and above the same caliber it caliber it's amazing what you all put on the stage you guys have really Thank talented you. kids don't and, you and their hard work matches their talent mm -hmm. because i mean what they do looks really good on stage and it's because they work so so hard i mean it's unrivaled i mean they're there five six days a week three hours a day when no you excuses. were a kid a junior and senior <clears throat> in high school don't we kind of want to know this were you in all these productions? Were you an I was, aspiring but, but actor? I, I was, but we didn't have a program at my school. We didn't have a teacher. We had four lights Sad. that attached to the back of the basketball goal that you flipped on with a switch. <laughs> okay. Um, so any this. so anything that really happened in my high school was the result of a couple of very good parent volunteers and a it's couple of us who were, who were very passionate about it. We had to kind of make it happen. When you take the caliber and quality of productions that you're doing now, translate that to these kids in high school, Moving on for them, does it give them just an insight into the theater that a lot of kids don't have? I think it gives them an appreciation, and I saw that most. I took a group to New York last year to mm -hmm. see Mary Poppins. We, it was one cool. of the shows that we saw. We saw five or six shows. They were oh. exhausted mm -hmm. by the end. But mm -hmm. we saw Mary Poppins, and on the surface, it's a very much a kiddie show. Right. But they're sitting there watching it, and they're looking at the fly rails, and they're looking at they're looking at who, where are they calling the show from, and the different types of mm -hmm. lights they're using. That can be so, chills. They really appreciate mm -hmm. it. So they're appreciating the process of it. Mm -hmm on top of the show. I mean, they right. got more out of Mary Poppins than probably War Horse, which we also saw. Yeah, which but, but I the, heard it was incredible. It was incredible, but in theory, that should be a kid's show, but because of the spectacle and the technical yes. aspect that they appreciate, they loved Mary Poppins. Awesome. And what's cool is you get all the kids involved in all aspects right. of it, right? So you right. don't have you build just, set. you're the, the mm -hmm. actors, you're, it, it, no one is really they're all departmentalized. Doing, they're all mm -hmm. doing a little bit of everything, so it's, um, it's, it's quite enjoyable. And I'm a huge advocate, and I know you are too. I believe that the arts teaches math, science, reading, all the other historical things. Just in, It in often reminds me in my set design how terrible at math I actually am. <laughs> I'll be doing something, I'll have to call one of the kids over. I'm like, guys, I don't know. Yeah, how do I... Uh, you have better math teachers yeah. than I had, so help me out. What date is Legally Blonde running? Well, appropriately, Legally Blonde opens on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, it runs the 14th. Thursday the 14th, and... We have performances the 14th, 15th, 16th at 7.30. Okay. And we close on Sunday the 17th at 2. And tickets and are available online, right? Absolutely. You can go to hhprep.org, and there's a link right there on the website. And the performances are not at Hilton Head Prep. They're at Hilton Head High School. Oh, that's right. nice. The B pack. Okay, the so B -pack don't forget. Don't forget okay. B pack. And you can also get them at B pack the, on B day. You, you can get them at the door. B pack on B day. B pack on B day. There we go. <laughs> it's so good, and it's going to be. It's family, so it's a family from fun one show to with dogs. From one to exactly. with dogs. With dogs. I love. I can't What's that? It. Who's harder to manage, a senior in high school or a puppy? Uh, it's both. <laughs> you really don't know where either one are going at, yeah, at any yeah, time. Yeah. They're just as unpredictable. Yeah. And on that note. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on Girl Talk. Girl Talk is brought to you by J Banks Design, The Greenery, Stoneworks, and Custom Audio Video, and by Island Tire and Automotive Services. Please support these businesses who make our program possible. We are back here on Girl Talk, and last time I talked to Shannon, we had a wonderful time and thought it would be fun to come on location. Here we are. This is a fabulous man kitchen. I swear, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh -huh. Talk to me a little bit about what you all did at Stoneworks and just share with us about this kitchen. Sure. Um, the client came to me actually with his cabinet designer who mm -hmm. had an idea in mind that they wanted to do something. They knew they were doing white cabinetry. Okay. Which I love. And they wanted something bold on the countertops mm -hmm. and they needed a coordinating backsplash as well. Okay. So 
What I did was show them possible photographs of materials that I can get. Okay. And I did searching for that. And, and this we, is cool. we found fabulous pieces. This is, um, this is called Hurricane. Okay. And, what uh, is this? This is a granite from Brazil. Mm -hmm. And on the back, we have a different granite. See, which I think is such a cool idea. I love this. Okay. Uh huh. And this is called Spectrus. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a different version as far as um, the grain, the movement, okay. but with the same colors. Let me ask you a question. When someone, when, when he came in, let's talk about this specific um, client in this fabulous kitchen. I mean, this is a great kitchen. Mm -hmm. Did he, he said bold, did he want the, the browns and the auburns and the cinnamon colors, the golds? So you knew. Initially, it was um, mainly the black. Okay. And his designer had used this granite before Okay. Um, but we found this piece and and we were like, well, what if we use both? Exactly. So he was very daring and um, because it's interesting, this this is pretty much up and down vertical. Yes. This runs horizontal here. Yes. It's fun. I like the way there's kind of shifts and uh huh. This is a broadened mm -hmm. pattern of this. Same colors, just. Uh, and, and it expands. It works. Yeah. Shannon, one of the things that you all did that I'm really impressed with, and, and I see more and more, the thickness of this island. Mm -hmm. Talk with me a little bit about that. Well, uh, this happened at the later stages uh, when we were fabricating, mm -hmm. uh, just about to begin the fabrication. Um, it's just a, an added design to, mm -hmm. to separate the island and to showcase it. It really helps. It does showcase this. What is the um, edging on this? Uh, it's a laminated eased edge. Okay, so and that, just, I love that yeah. look. Aren't mm -hmm. you seeing more and more of that as far as edging? We want to see more and more of this. We want to show people that this is what can be done because this makes a great statement. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Now, talk to us about then tile selections. So you've got a bold granite that's going on. Mm -hmm. You're, you're um, layering it, if you will, or complementing it with a pretty dramatic and flowing piece over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do I do with my backsplash to make it jazzy? You well, brought a piece, I love it. Yeah, I brought a sample. The homeowner came to me and asked me um, if I could find something similar to the new sushi restaurant, Oko. Uh -huh. And uh, we did a lot of tile in that restaurant as well, so I was familiar. Um, they had some gold leaf uh, tile going on mm -hmm. their glass. Pretty. And I was able to find this, which is uh, handmade in Canada. Mm -hmm. And she, she made this entire splash for his home. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is. And you know what I like? These are the things that really set you all apart. Stoneworks is great for this. When you're doing tiling, it's not just about getting the tile, but it's about how you grout it. Um, color of grout, thickness of grout. Those are all things I think people don't really realize. Yes. And this particular client, um, we have to help in all areas. Mm -hmm. uh, he's colorblind. Oh, so, I love perfect. Of course he is. He needed my help for every part of it. Mm -hmm. I, I helped with the ground. Which I, I love. with his uh, outlet facing and, and all of that. And it's interesting because the grout here is a wider set grout. Mm -hmm. and, it, and in today's design world, really anything goes, don't you think? The wide grout close together. It's just really light, dark, neutrals. Uh -huh. That's what's fun about it. Some of the lights are actually being appreciated now. Yeah. Exactly. The dark. When you're doing picking out tile, are you looking at strictly the aesthetics of it? Are you looking at what's practical? For example, does this gentleman cook? Is it, was it important to do something that was, you know, you said he wanted a mm -hmm. splash of color, but did he also want something that he could actually work on? Uh-huh. Well, we listened to the clients mm -hmm. and, and their needs. So he came to me for the glass, mm -hmm. and uh, it's certainly uh, oh, yeah. ease of cleaning there. And I was going to say, how do you clean up things like the granite and the glass? Is it just a little bit of warm soapy water? Glass, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, we know Windex works well. <laughs> yeah, you love Windex. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But for the stone, we want to use a stone cleaner. Okay. Um, anything that's a harsh chemical will break down the sealant that's mm -hmm. on it. Let's so. talk, <coughs> I'm choking to death here if we can, about how you chose where to go with your tile. And I'll, give, I'll, I'll share with you what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. 
oftentimes, what's the typical? Four, four inches is what a lot of people do, uh -huh. but you all chose to go all the way up. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that really makes the statement too. Yes. What do you think for people? How do you, do you look at the design of the kitchen or how do you all decide on what you recommend? I do. Uh -huh. uh, I actually use the elevation drawings okay. and, and play it out on paper. Mm -hmm. um, we decided to go up all See, the way behind the hood. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful focal point this is. Yeah. This is fun. I think we should do more field trips, Shannon, because I think when we're at Stoneworks, we get to see fabulous products and all the new things and all the trends. But actually coming into the field makes so much sense because you can see it applied and in action. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, you all do an amazing job. It's always fun to work with you. And the style looks great. I think it looks great. It's uh, modern woodsy. I like it, modern <laughs> woodsy. We want to thank you all for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great week. Bye-bye.